Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to have an episode of Brunmeliad Anatomy and we're going to be looking at Tomentum. So you know what? The sun is shining, the island breeze is blowing, it's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun and let's learn about Tomentum on Brunmeliads. Okay, so what is Tomentum? Now, I've made the mistake before and I had to correct myself and I said that it's not a structural color. I think I did that on the Shantini eye uh, video. It is indeed a structural uh, thing on the leaves of your plants. It is not a pigment. So the beautiful silver that you see on the leaf surface of this uh, beautiful silver form of Alcantaria imperialis is a structural pigment. So tomentum is actually um, a pubescence that is produced by the leaf. They are fine um, soft hairs that are produced. And if you take a look you can see that where there's been some wetness and right there is a thumbprint that I used to illustrate this in a uh, video on Alcantarias you can see that the tomentum can be wiped off. Now here's a close-up of the upper surface of the leaf and again you can see uh, where it got wet and and the tomentum still there. So my guess is that when it gets wet it mats down. Again they are fibers and right there that is where I put a thumbprint in our bromeliad family tree episode just a week or so ago and it shows you uh, that the tomentum can be wiped off. I think it'd be really cool if we do a video and find out if this actually grows back and I don't know if it does or not quite honestly. Now this shows you in contrast uh, two different plants. Now what you're seeing on the plant on the left uh, which is another Alcantaria that's a hybrid, um, you're seeing glare. So that is not a, uh, an example of tomentum. Um, but if you take a look at the silver imperialis, take a look at the difference. Now my guess, and it's only a guess, is that the tomentum will impart some degree of sun hardiness uh, on the plants that it grows on. And at least that's been my experience uh, with um, some of the Alcantarias that have it. Okay, so this shows you the plant on the left and you can see that it's quite green. And then back to the Silver Imperialis and take a look at that silver color. So this is also a structural uh, banding that you see. It is not pigmented. Um, this can be wiped off too. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, this is a type of Shantinii called Echmia Tortuga. It really is one of my favorite Shantinii's. I'm glad that I got it. But I'm going to show you a mistake that I made and I showed you that in the Collecting Corner episode a few weeks ago. And let me show you what I did. Now you might remember in that episode that I wanted to show you guys all of the different kinds of Shantinii and if you take a look that is what the tomentum looks like on the upper leaf surface and here's a big oops look what I did I wiped it off because I was trying to dry the plant so again I'm not really sure about whether or not this plant is going to reproduce the tomentum and we're going to do another episode on that and find out. I think it's going to take it a while though. So this is an Alcantaria odorata. Now this is early in the morning and so we've got a little bit of uh, dew forming on this plant. 
but Odorata is known for its silver color and all of that silver color again is not pigment it's structural and it's due to tomentum and Odorata as you may have seen in our previous video about uh, Alcantarias and that's what an Odorata is that's the genus that it's in is a very very uh, sun tolerant plant I don't know that there is any one bromeliad that's better than the others but I got to tell you I have never seen Odorata have any problems in the sun that we have here in southwest Florida and I believe it's really due to the silver tomentum that Odorata has. So anyway guys that's it. I hope you enjoyed learning about tomentum. It's a very interesting structure on some bromeliads and it can help to impart some degree of sun tolerance on your plants. So no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing and have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.